As many of you are aware, on May 4th of this year, two of our deputies were conducting a traffic stop on Route 40 in Joppa when an individual who identifies himself as a constitutional activist purposefully and deliberately approached our deputies from behind and under the cover of darkness. A short 24-second clip of a cell phone video capturing the incident and arrest posted online by that individual generated public attention back in May. As sheriff, I responded publicly with our own body camera video of the encounter so the public could see the event in an unbiased and unedited manner. In my initial statement, I said we would conduct a thorough investigation into the incident, and that process has been ongoing since May 4th. In the meantime, the criminal case against the defendant in the courts has now concluded, with this defendant entering into an agreement with the state's attorney to avoid a criminal conviction through diversion. As part of the agreement, this defendant will perform 10 hours of community service here in our county. He has apologized in a written letter to the involved deputy for his actions, admitted to the wrongfulness of his actions, and apologized to creating a situation that put the safety of individuals and police at risk. He has also withdrawn his formal complaint against the deputy. With the decision of the defendant to withdraw his complaint, this administrative investigation will now be closed. Although the defendant was not interviewed as of the complaint being withdrawn, I will offer that our Office of Professional Standards did not identify any violation of policy or law during the already completed work of the administrative investigation. To once again be clear, as your sheriff, I respect and value a citizen's First Amendment right as do the members of this agency, but no one should believe this is the same as being able to say and do whatever you might want. Just like you cannot shout fire in a crowded theater, individuals are not permitted to interfere in the duties of our deputies or police officers in general. There is a fine line to be sure, but sadly a line the defendant in this case decided to cross, a line he himself admits he crossed. With that said, there are a couple of points I do feel are important to note. First and foremost, for anyone who watched the release footage, at no time during the incident did our deputy ever mention the fact that the defendant was videoing. Why? Because the deputy didn't care if his actions were video recorded. We utilize in-car camera and body-worn cameras that record citizen contacts already. In addition, our personnel, including this deputy, are recorded by citizens frequently. That is not why this defendant was arrested, and at no time was he ever told he was being arrested for recording. In fact, an alternate location was suggested that would allow the defendant to capture the entire incident on video while not interfering with the traffic stop, something this individual readily admits he should have done. This individual was placed under arrest after refusing to obey the orders of the deputy to move back and hindering the deputy in the performance of his lawful duties. A minute ago I mentioned the line that the defendant crossed. Even though the formal letter of apology was just received, I have no doubt that even the defendant realized he was overstepping going back to the initial night. On May 4th, right after he was arrested, the defendant repeatedly apologized to the deputy for his actions and asked to be released. This was something that he did not share when he released his initial 24-second video. In a second video he released in early May, which utilized some of our body camera footage, once again the defendant decided to omit his apology to our deputy. I can only assume, assume these actions were done so that his followers wouldn't see his apology for themselves, and sadly this led to many hateful, threatening, and derogatory calls, emails, and messages being sent to our office and to the deputy himself. This too is something the individual also now apologizes for, for the collateral, collateral consequences that have impacted the deputy and his family for just doing his job. To close, I would like to thank our Harford County community for their patience and understanding while we allowed these investigations to be afforded the necessary time to, to be conducted in a thorough manner and allowed the criminal justice system to perform its function. Sadly, this is all too often not the case in so many communities across this country. I would also like to reiterate my appreciation to the men and women of the Sheriff's Office and those in law enforcement across this country for the great work they do every single day.